Let's solve the system x minus 2y plus z equals 3, y plus 2z equals 2, and then x plus y plus 3z equals 5. So first what we can do is make an observation. And here we have an x and here we have an x. Let's say the goal is to get rid of this x right here. Okay, so eliminate this x somehow. How can we do that? We can do that, do that by multiplying the first equation by negative 1 and adding to the third equation. That's always an allowed operation. You're allowed to multiply equations by constants and then add them together. And at each stage you produce an equivalent system essentially, whose solution is the same as that of the original as long as you follow the rules of algebra. Negative x plus 2y and then minus z is equal to negative 3. So this is the first equation. All the signs are different because they've multiplied each term by negative 1. Now from here you add to it the third equation which looks like, let's see, that's your x in this position and then plus y here and then plus 3z and this is equal to 5. Let's see, when you add these, what do we get? So we're going to add straight down term by term basic operations. So negative x plus x is 0. 2y plus uh, y is 3y and then negative z plus 3z is going to give you positive 2z. Negative 3 plus 5 is going to give you there a positive 2. So that means our equivalent system to the one that we see on the screen is the following. You copy the first equation, x minus 2y plus z equals 3. Nothing changes here. You copy the second equation completely unaltered, y plus 2z is equal to 2. Then now you replace the third equation with this new equivalent third equation, which is 3y plus 2z is equal to 2. Now let's get rid of the 3y. We can do that by multiplying the middle equation and adding to the bottom equation. So what you can do is, because we have 3y over here, we can multiply by negative 3. y plus 2z equals 2. And this will produce a new middle equation for us. Negative 3y minus 6z equals negative 6. Now take this equation and then add it to the bottom equation, which is, as you can see, positive 3y plus 2z, which is equal to positive 2. Just add these equations now term by term straight down like this. So if you have to, you know, you indicate that with a little line like that. Negative 3y plus 3 is 0. Okay, goes away. Negative 6z plus 2z is negative 4z. And then negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. The new system that this produces then looks like the following. x minus 2y plus z equals 3. Next is y plus 2z equals 2. And the new equation on the bottom, you can solve this for z directly now. It's kind of easy. You can see that z is equal to positive 1. So you have z equals positive 1 because negative 4 divided by negative 4 is z is equal to 1. And now we have this system. This system you can do through back substitution, just plug the value of z and then generate y and then plug the value of y and z into the top equation to generate x. Let's do that over here then. So this is called back substitution. I'll just shorten it to back, back sub. So plug in z equals 1. Where do you plug this in? You gotta plug it into the second equation. So you're gonna have y plus 2 times the value of z, which is 1, is equal to 2. So y plus 2 is equal to 2, which means y is equal to 0 once you subtract 2. Now that we know that z is 1 and we know that y is 0, then find x by plugging those values into the topmost equation, which is x minus 2 times the value of y, which is 0, plus the value of z. Again, I'm using the top equation, x minus 2y plus z equals 3. So x minus 2 times 0 plus... 1 is equal to 3. Let's replace each occurrence of x of z and y rather. So you have x plus 1 is equal to 3. So x is equal to 3 minus 1, which is 2. Therefore, our solution point is this object that says 2, comma 0, comma 1. 2, comma 0, comma 1. That's it. That solves the system. That's it for this one. If it's helpful, leave a like. I'll see you in another video.